Monday, everybody. Today I have prepared a Flow 1.5, a Matte Flow 1.5 for you. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before you get started, all you need is a mat. If you want to make things a little more challenging and you have ankle weights, um, you can go ahead and use those too when we get into teasers and some more abdominal work. It's up to you. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start laying down on our backs for our warm up. Just getting some pelvic tilts going. So rolling cowboy, you're going to have to move all the way down into your pelvic curl, your bridge starting position. Hands are reaching down by your side. Now we are not going to uh, bridge quite yet. We're just going to rock the pelvis back and forth. So on an exhale, you're going to pull the belly button down and imprint that lower back. This is probably not a good spot for cowboy to sit. So you can see. So right now I have natural curvatures of the spine here. On the exhale, I'm going to drop here. I'll move my arm. I'll drop the belly button down, imprinting the low back, tucking the tailbone under. I'm going to inhale as I go into neutral, and then I'll go into an anterior tilt, which means um, tilting the pelvis the other way. So I'm dropping the tailbone down, lifting the um, hip bones up. And then on the exhale, through neutral into a posterior tilt where you're sliding the tailbone underneath. Inhale, exhale. Just a couple more here, getting movement through that lower spine. If you're like me, my, my back's a little bit tight today, so I'm looking forward to lengthening it out. Two more times. And then we'll find neutral. The best way to find neutral is if you connect your pointer fingers and your thumbs. You can place your um, pointer fingers on your pubic bone and then the heels of your hands on your hip bones. And then making sure that it's nice and flat. So it's not tilted, it's not tucked. That's a really good way to find neutral. We're going to go into leg lifts. So finding neutral, using those abdominals, think about the oblique shooting down towards the hip bones. Again, neutral spine. So I have a little space underneath my low back, a little ray of sunshine can peek underneath. I'm going to exhale as I bring my right leg up. Inhale as I tap. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place that foot down and we'll switch sides. Exhale as you bring the leg up into your tabletop. Inhale as you hinge from the hip. Exhale as you lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We're going to go into leg changes. So you're going to point the bottom toe. You're going to inhale, exhale, switch without any movement in the hips. You're locking down the pelvis with the abdominals. Inhale, exhale, switch. And if you can't get this lower toe down to the mat, that's okay. If your switches are a little bit higher, that's fine. We just want to make sure we're keeping that 90 degree bend from both knees as we leg change. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring both legs up, squeeze the legs together, arms go out to a T, palms facing up towards the ceiling. We're going to go into supine spine twists. So we're going to inhale over to the right, taking the knees and the feet to the right. That left hip will lift. I'm keeping my knees exactly the same, so I'm not dropping one knee lower. I'm keeping the legs connected. Exhale as I use my top oblique to bring everything back to center. Making sure I maintain that tabletop. Inhale over, getting a nice twist. Exhale, activate to bring back. Now, if your shoulders are lifting up, that means that your um, windshield wiping your legs too far. You want to keep your shoulders connected to the mat. They're your anchor. Inhale over. Exhale back. Inhale over. Exhale back. Now, if you'd like to add a little challenge and lengthen the lever, you're going to straighten the legs straight up to the ceiling. Same motion. Inhale over. Exhale back. Inhale over. Exhale back. Last set after this one. Inhale over, exhale back, last one. Bend the knees, place the feet down. Um, all right, we're gonna bring our legs back up into tabletop one at a time. Hands go on top of the knees, the legs are zipped up together, elbows are wide. We're going to push down into the knees to lift the chest. My gaze goes through my legs to keep my head in alignment with my spine. We're going into double leg stretch. Inhale out, exhale in. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold here. Don't lower down. See if you can lift a little bit higher, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And we're going to go into single leg. So you're going to slide. Let's slide our left leg out to 45. Both hands go on top of the right knee slash shin. Now, if I had a yardstick and I placed it on my toes, that yardstick would be level. That's what we're looking for. If you have a tight lower back, and this is kind of painful position for your lower back, you can raise that foot up. But this is what we're working towards. We're going to inhale, exhale, switch the legs. Two, three, four, five, behind the head going into crisscross. Rotate towards that knee. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Oop, cowboy, you're in the way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring the knees in, grab down, and lower all the way down. And then we'll place one foot at a time back down on the mat. We're going to go into our pelvic curls now, our bridging here. Um, so if you have um, any spinal issues where you're, it's not healthy for your spine to do flexion, you can just hinge from the hips up and down. Um, I personally love pelvic curls while you're articulating the spine. 
just because for my body, that's what I need to help find that mobility in my lower back. Um, but it's also okay for me to do because I don't have any slip discs or um, degeneration in my low spine. So hands go down by your side. There's light pressure through the backs of your arms to open up the chest. Feet are hip distance apart, which means knees are hip distance apart as well. And my fingers are reaching towards my feet to help drop my shoulders away from my ears. Now check your ribs. We don't want your ribs popping up to the ceiling. You want to, on an exhale, pull them together and drop them down. So I like to think about my back ribs going down into the mat, but I still have a little bit of space between that low back. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, drop the belly button, imprint the low back, slowly peeling one vertebrae at a time all the way up into your bridge. Inhale at the top. Take a look at your knees. Make sure they're not splaying out to the sides. You're hugging them in towards the midline, tracking with your hip joints. And exhale, slowly placing one vertebrae at a time all the way back down. Go through neutral pelvis, inhale, exhale. Curling up, trying to go deeper with each repetition. Inhale, find a stretch through the hip flexors here. Exhale, slowly placing one vertebrae at a time all the way down. This is a really nice exercise for decompressing the spine and really finding length between each vertebrae. Inhale through neutral, exhale curling up. Inhale at the top. I'm also thinking about my heels sliding towards my glutes to activate my hamstring. So I'm not pushing away from my feet, I'm pulling my feet towards me. Inhale and I'm holding that connection. Exhale as you curl down as I lift and lower the spine. Inhale through neutral, exhale, curling up. Inhale at the top, exhale, slowly curling all the way down. Good. Let's do four more. Inhale. Inhale, and exhale. Three more. And as far as pelvic curls go or bridging, I always say slower is better because you feel more. Exhale, curling up. Last. Two. And on this last one, we're going to hold at the top and go into shoulder bridge. Inhale. Exhale, curling up one vertebrae at a time. Finding your perfect bridge. Now making sure that you are still active through the glutes as you exhale, bring your right leg up into tabletop, then extend it to the ceiling. You're going to exhale down, inhale up for five, four, three, two, and one. Point the toe, bend the knee, place the foot down, adjust the hips if you need it. Hopefully you don't, because that means you're doing it right. And then exhale, bring the left leg up. Point the toe. Exhale down. Inhale up for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Point the toe, bend the knee, place the foot down, and slowly curling all the way back down. 
All right, 200s prep. So you're gonna bring your legs, well, let's start actually by reaching our arms overhead. Now, um, be careful here because it's not about getting the arms down to the mat. Because when I do that, my ribs pop up to the ceiling. We want to lock the ribs together to zip up the abdominals. So my arms are raised a little bit higher, and that's okay. I have my natural curvatures of my spine, which is more important. Then we'll bring one leg up, bring the other leg up, zip the legs together. And we're going to exhale as we lift. Inhale as we lower. And last one, holding here, slide the legs out, and we'll go into hundreds. You're gonna exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. the mat so it's kind of like my anchor leg I'm gonna take my hands down by my side lift the leg straight up flex the foot now be careful we don't want a turned out foot we want everything tracking with that hip joint we're gonna go across the midline it's a drop and recover inhale a circle exhale circle And then I'll reverse it, going away from the midline. Inhale, exhale. Bend the knee, pull it in, and release the leg all the way down to the mat. Making sure that that leg is lined up with the hip joint. Bring the left leg in, give it a nice hug. Arms go down, reach the foot up, and we'll go across the midline. Inhale, exhale. And then reverse it. Point the toe, bend the knee, give it a nice squeeze, and then extend the legs out. From here, we're going to go into roll-ups, extending the arms overhead. Palms are facing each other. Now remember, if you have a tight lower back, it's okay to bend the knees because we want to be rolling the spine out. So you can start with the knees bent, arms go overhead. Inhale. Exhale, and as you curl up, you straighten out the legs. Inhale here. Exhale, curling down. And you can also bend the knees as a modification to help get that lower back down. Inhale. Exhale, curling up. And 
I'm gonna move up my mat because my heels are rubbing against the mat. That's weird. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the spine at the top. Exhale. Leading with the tailbone, placing one vertebrae at a time back down on that mat. Inhale. Slowly curling down. And two more. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. And then we'll transition. So we'll curl up. And then we'll go into teaser prep. So teaser prep, um, you're gonna find that sweet spot right behind those sits bones where you can balance. You'll bring one leg up, bring the other leg up, squeeze the legs together, arms go right on outside the legs. You're gonna slowly curl all the way down without moving the legs, that's the idea. You're keeping the legs still, you're squeezing them together. Find that connection. Inhale, head and chest lift. Exhale, lifting all the way up. Hi, Charlie. Inhale. Exhale, slowly curling all the way down. Arms go overhead. Hey, Charlie, move. <laughs> Thank you. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Arms go overhead. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Now, if you'd like to try full, you'll straighten out the legs and slowly curl down. Inhale. And exhale. Straightening out the spine at the top. And last one. Holding here for five, four, three, two, and one. Let's reach forward for a stretch. Whew. All right. Feels good. I like to do teasers in three. So we did, um, unless I counted wrong, we did three teaser preps and three full teasers. All right, we will roll down for transition. Curling all the way down. We're gonna roll onto our side for side lifts. So, arm, bottom arm goes straight out. You're gonna use your bicep as a pillow for your head to keep your head in alignment with your spine. <clears throat> Top hand comes down in front. If you want a little added challenge, it can be by your side. Now let's find the natural curvatures of the spine. So uh, my lower oblique is lifted off of the mat. Um, we don't want to be dumping into the mat because we wouldn't stand like this. So we're thinking good posture. My hips are stacked right above one another. My feet are right out from my hip joints. Now if you have a tight low back and after the first couple, if you're only feeling it in your low back, it's okay to shift the feet forward to help shift that focus to the front, to the abdominals, because this is an abdominal exercise. All right, so our hand goes down in front, shoulders are, or top shoulders away from the ear. I'm gonna bring my feet back in alignment. As I exhale, I'm gonna drop this lower oblique into the mat, lifting the legs, kind of like a seesaw here. Inhale as I lower, exhale as I lift. Now the top oblique shortens as the bottom oblique lengthens out. And then when I go down, they both go to neutral, equal length. Two more. 
Last one, we're gonna hold. Holding here, bottom foot lowers, squeeze the inner thigh to lift it back up. For five, four, three, two, one. And then lower both legs down. Okay, we're gonna come up onto um, our side. We're gonna go into side bend here. So top leg goes in front, bottom leg goes behind. You want your feet lined up with your hips. My bottom hand is forward of my shoulder because we're gonna go up at an angle. After the first one, I might need to adjust because the idea is when I'm lifted, this shoulder will be directly above that wrist. Um, again, if you have wrist issues, you can fold this mat here to give yourself another cushion and place your hand, the heel of your hand on the edge of that, edge of the mat. Um, but I'm okay right here. Top hand goes down. It's almost like a mermaid position. Looks kind of pretty. Top leg, top foot is your anchor leg. So we're thinking about most of your weight being held in this front foot. Um, but if you need both feet for right now, that's fine. We're working towards that. All right, we're gonna exhale as we lift. And then inhale as you are pushing down into your hands. Come up, tap the hips down, exhale up. Inhale over, and then come up. Tap the hips down, exhale up, and over. Now one more time. Good, and then you can separate the knees and get a counter stretch. And then we'll kick the legs out, swivel around, and we'll do the other side for side lifts. So, finding that bicep as your pillow. <clears throat> and in a comfortable position, gaze goes straight ahead. It's a nice stretch in the shoulder too. Um, top hand comes down. We've got natural curvature of the spine. You're gonna feel even really quick. Hold on. Okay. You're gonna exhale as you drop this bottom oblique into the mat, shortening this top one. Inhale as you lower. Last one, we're gonna hold at the top. And we're gonna lower the bottom leg, squeeze the inner thigh to lift. Last one. And then lower both legs down. Then we'll prop ourselves up, getting ready for side bend. So this hand goes forward of the shoulder. Again, we're going up at an angle. Top leg is in front of the bottom leg. Feet are lined up with the hips. My fingers are pointing away from me. Top hand comes down, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And top foot is anchor foot. Exhale as you shoot out. Inhale as you push over, come up. Hinge from the hips. I'm going to adjust my wrist a little bit. All right, here we go. Up. Tap the hips and shoot right back up. Whoop. My wrist is sliding. Uh, I think we have one more. You'll notice how one side is different from the other, and that is a daily change. <laughs> and then get your counter stretch. All right. So next we're gonna go into, um, let's go into 
up stretch. So hands, we're going to go into quadruped position. So making sure your hands and you have enough space behind you on the mat. Hands are right below the shoulders. And we're going to tuck the toes hinge from the hip. It's not like a downward dog. It is a downward dog. It's just in Pilates, we call it up stretch. Press hitting a stretch to the back of the legs. You can walk the dog or walk the stretch. But we're looking for a nice long line from fingertips to hips and then from hips down to the heels. Now it's okay if your heels don't reach the mat. That's not always available, especially if you have tight hamstrings, but you're trying to reach your heels down. Mine don't quite make the mat. <laughs> My mat is curled up, so that's why the mat is touching my heels. <laughs> but I used to start here, and that's okay. We're looking for the posture in the spine, so we don't want to be rounded here to get the heels down. You can also bend the knees. This is okay, too. From here, we're going to shift into our plank. And we're just going to hold plank. Breathing. If you'd like to pause this video and time yourself out, be my guest. Um, see how long you can hold your plank for. Um, and then in the comments area, uh, you can go ahead and tell us. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Bend the knees, lower all the way down into a supine, I'm sorry, a prone position, laying on your belly button. All right, we're gonna take the arms out in front. Take a couple of breaths here, catch your breath. Floating the nose. We're going to go into swimming here. Um, we're going to start with a little prep and then we'll go into it. Um, so my face is not planted into the mat. My nose is floating just over the mat to keep the back of my neck nice and long. I'm going to lift my right leg, left arm. And hold. And then place it down. And switch. Switching legs and arms. Just a nice slow pace, getting that connection to those back extensors. One more time each side. And last one. Good. Now we'll go into full swimming. So for breathing for swimming, it's like the um, hundreds breath where it's five short inhales, five short exhales, and that equals one cycle. Um, but if that breathing doesn't really sit well with you, just inhale for a count of five, exhale for a count of five. And again, if that doesn't make sense, just breathe however you want to breathe. It's more important that you're breathing, just don't hold your breath. So, whatever is comfortable for you, go for it. All right, here we go. So, we're going to lift both arms and legs, and we're going to inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So yesterday's mat, March Madness exercise was rocking. Uh, we're going to do the prep to rocking because it's a really great stretch and it feels really, really good. So you're going to bring 
One leg up, one leg up, floating the nose over. You're gonna kick your feet into your hands to help lift you up. Get in a nice stretch through those quadriceps and those hips, and then exhale lower. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. push back into your rest position. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. <laughs> Maybe shake the head yes, shake it no. We can walk our hands over to the right. Push that left hip down, getting a nice side stretch. And then bring it back through center and over to the left. Dropping the right hip down. Bring it back through center. Curling up. And we'll all meet in standing for our roll downs. So carefully standing up. Take your time. No seeing stars. We're going to make sure our feet are hip distance apart. Looking like a number 11. It can be a small grapefruit size between the feet. Arms go down by the side. Inhale, get taller through the spine, through the abdominals. Exhale, nod the chin into the chest. Feel the stretch to the back of the shoulders. As you're curling down, I'm, I'm thinking about my belly button staying connected to my spine. I'm bending into my knees, being kind to my low back. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pull the belly button up, point the tailbone down, stacking the spine. Once the spine is stacked, then the legs go all the way to straight. Chin comes up last. Bending into the knees. Curling all the way back up. And one more time. Two big inhales, reach the arms out, fill the lungs, exhale, let it go, and one more time. And I'll come back down to your level. I hope you enjoyed your mat flow level 1.5. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, always feel free to comment below. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. There's more classes to come, so stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't already, check out our YouTube channel, Club Pilates Vieira.